guys, Soaps here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have something really exciting for you guys. I'm back. I'm here. I'm alive. I died, but I'm back, believe it or not. Um, it's a good story. I'll tell you it later. But today, I have a, uh, a pack, and it's backwards because <laughs> cameras, man. Um, but yeah, I'm back, and I'm going to show you some card games because I know you want to see some. So yeah, I'm back. There's a big reveal. We got Mannequin Man. We got all all the all the best people here for this this comeback special. So soaps, hey soaps, man. What, what, what are you doing? So today, um, I'm here to show you my new game, Sketchbook Chronicles Tag Team. And you know my printer's not very good, so it's a little bit streaky with the ink here. But this is a pack um, for the game. Sketchbook Chronicles tag team. So it's not called Sketchbook Chronicles for once. I know Big letdown. It's not it's not just Sketchbook Chronicles I threw on a tag team just to make it a little bit more official So it's not Sketchbook Chronicles a million times over, but we got 12 cards per pack which is like wow So that's a lot of cards. So I'm gonna explain why it's 12 cards per pack. So What is this game? Well, this game is a I guess you could say a Hall of Fame of all of our cards when I say ours, I mean, well, obviously you guys, but <laughs> me and Daniel's cards. So that means all the cards from Sketchbook Chronicles Beta, all the cards from Sketchbook Chronicles, all the cards from Sketchbook Chronicles Legacy, and all the cards from the other Sketchbook Chronicles. <laughs> so not all the cards. Uh, it's only a 50-card set, but our favorites throughout each game. Um, got brought back and now they're in this game right here So it's called tag team because the main premise of the game is that you pick up a pack of 12 cards And you immediately start playing you don't need any deck building you just grab your favorite people Let's say you like music man. Let's say you like double jaw. Let's say you like plumber man Let's say you like fur ninja Just any of the cards that you like from the other games like I have some of the Originals over here Say you like the Carbonaro effect. Let's say you like Flappy Dragon. Let's see. Let's say you like reading the dealer I don't know, but <laughs> you like these cards put them in your deck You don't have to worry about oh, what if this card makes me lose? What if this card makes me win? It's just you're just trying to have fun and if it ends up making you win well, there you go Makes those characters even more enjoyable to play with but that is the whole premise of this game, and we can just read the back of the pack. Join the battle with your favorite Sketchbook Chronicles characters on this new game. This pack comes with one randomized pre-built deck to get you right into playing the game. And Soaps2018 on the bottom. So there he is, Soaps YouTube channel. Um, yeah, you should go check out my YouTube channel. Oh wait, you're already on it. But, <laughs> um, got some stuff on my desk. Um, but yeah, so we got 12 cards. And uh, we may as well open it up, and then I can explain what are the type of cards that are in this game. Hoopla! All right, we got to make sure that gets in focus. Hoopla! Okay. Um, so I believe it's two spell cards in the back. So we'll talk about spell cards. So we got a spell card. Oh, and we got the the Cerberero effect. Um, yeah, great card. Absolutely beautiful. So it's a spell. And um, I'm not even going to try and call it a page card because it's not a page card anymore. But also because that was really confusing. So we're just going to call them spells from now on. And you can tell it's a spell because it has pink text and it has a pink or purple, excuse me, purple symbol right here with the zigzag and some circles. Um, so this is a spell card. There's two of them in your deck. So you can pick any two that you'd like and put them in the deck. All of them do different things. And they work just how spell cards work in Sketchbook Chronicles. And then you have your monsters, which is, for example, Astro Bros. Um, they have health, and then they have an uh, attack and an ability. Every single card has its own unique ability and its own unique attack. Um, they do the same damage, obviously. I'm not going to give them different numbers for every single card, but they have different names. Um, so right here we have Astro Bros. He has 50 HP, and his ability is quite the view. Your opponent reveals their hand, and coming back down does 20 damage. So uh, I may as well just read the 
Serpent Arrow effect as well. Flip four coins, deal 20 damage to either your opponent's active or bench monsters for each heads. So you're probably saying, oh my god, Soaps, what's what's a bench monster? Um, I will answer your question right here. So this game operates kind of similarly to Pokemon. Let's just pan down right here. Oh boy, camera skills. Uh, really similar to Pokemon, where you have a bench of monsters, and uh, I guess Pokemon, but <laughs> in this case monsters, and you have an active monster, and you can only attack with your active monster, and the ability is only active when you're in the active monster slot, unless it references the, the bench. So uh, I'll do a rule video later on. But for now, you get the general general premise. It acts somewhat like Pokemon. And the way that you win the game is by making your opponent run out of cards where they can physically not play anymore. So that is how you win. And those are the two types of cards in the game. So the next up, let's just go through all the cards. So we have 60 HP, Plumber Man, Mega Mushroom. At the start of your turn, flip a coin. If heads, plunge does plus 10 damage. And this stacks so... Every heads that you get, it just adds on another 10 damage permanently. So Plunge does 20 damage. Also, this is the number of uh, what the card is in the set. Next up, we have Dracoslev, 80 HP, Lava Moat. All your opponent's bench monsters lose 10 HP every turn. And um, I didn't write when it's on the field or anything because the ability is only active if it's on the field. So that just has to go. Um, into activity as the card is placed and it stays there until it's sent to the discard pile when its HP is zero. So another thing is that because the game's not supposed to be super strategical, each monster card and spell card is supposed to be balanced. I mean, obviously there's probably going to be one card that's a little bit better than a different one, and but there's no glaring differences when it comes to health and damage they're supposed to be somewhat balanced so you can just go with your favorite characters and you should have a pretty even battle with someone who might have thought put a little bit more thought into their deck so then we have scorching flames which is 20 damage then we have halloween horrors uh, 70 hp inducing fright flip a coin every time this card attacks if heads your opponent's month your opponent's active monster can attack next turn, and then Rattling Bones for 20 damage. Charles, um, I'm taking this. <laughs> when this monster dies, your opponent must discard the top card of their deck, and Water Splush, 10 damage. So he has 50 HP as well. Um, discarding is actually really bad in this game if, you're, if your opponent makes you discard, because that means that you're losing life, technically, because... The more cards that you don't have in your deck, the less cards you're going to have throughout the game. And when you run out of cards, you lose. So um, you want to have cards. So this is a pretty good card, and that's why he doesn't have a lot of HP, and he doesn't do a lot of damage. So we have Eager Beaver. He's pretty eager, and that's why his ability is eager. For every turn this card is on the field, it gains plus 10 HP. And oh boy, I forgot to paint and bucket that because... Um, All right, right there. So, um, yeah, I'll have to fix that later, but um, I missed a little bit of white in that. Hey, uh, we won't talk about it, but nah, 10 damage, and then it does another damage, another 10 damage next turn, and 60 HP. Camel Gunner, it's a lot of sand and uh, I guess you could say yellow and tan on this card. 70 HP and Camel Gunner, pew pew, every time this monster kills a monster, deal 40 damage to a bench monster. Benched monster, excuse me. And Pew, 20 damage. A pretty good card for doing a lot of damage to a specific monster. Next up, we have Flappy Dragon, 70 HP, tough skin. Attacks do minus 10 damage to this card. And Fire Fang, 20 damage. Mega Rup. Oh my god. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done YouTube in a while when I can't speak. Um, this. Oh boy. Okay, I done goofed. So, as you can see, these cards are subject to change. As of right now, they're not final. Um, all the cards are done, but I still need to make edits. As you can see, this is a spell card. And uh, it does not have the specific spell card 
color at the bottom, and that's why we have three spell cards in this pack. So, um, whoops, but um, hey, you get another spell card. Yay. <laughs> Mega Mushroom, attach this card to your active monster. Its attacks do plus 20 damage. Next up, we have Furman. I love the pain. This card loses 10 HP every turn, and Fur Fist, 30 damage. And uh, he has 60 HP. And then finally, we have TP Man, which has the freaking <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay well um he looks he looks good with pink anyway um 60 hp teleport when this card dies for the first time add it to your hand so that means he basically has two lives and tp does 20 damage so yeah that's that's tag team um i'm goofing pretty hard but that's that's all right um <laughs> so yeah soaps is back tell a friend um yeah tell your dad um, have them subscribe. Yep, card games.